Thank you so much for talking with TravelGhanas.com. Yeah, TravelGhanas. Uh, Woot. I'm Alex Horn from San Diego, California. My entire life and uh, I skateboard for a living and team manage now for a living. Manage a little skateboard team. Cruise around, traveling. It's pretty much what my gig is right now. I skateboard for um, Creature Skateboards and, and uh, OJ Wheels and uh, independent trucks in this company called Ergo Vans. Just like a handful of my friends who helped me out. Pacific Drive Skateboard Shop, this place I used to work at. And um, we just uh, pretty much sponsored me and my friends to go around and, and travel and shoot and shoot video and get some articles in the magazines, pretty much to get our guys out there and seen by the kids in the magazines. So hypes it up to sell boards, more boards sold, more wheels sold, the longer we get to go on free rip rides. So um, that's pretty much the breakdown of what I do. And like I never really thought about, oh, I'm gonna be a sponsored skate dude. You know, I just I just was trying to work and save my money and go travel as much as I possibly could. And then that came, and as you know, it's just from people who I met basically from all that stuff, and just was people who I met along the way since high school. Darren Navarrete, Neil Blender, those two guys are the main main some of the main guys who have helped me out and got me to where I'm at right now, which isn't really far, but it's just stupid. got me doing what I'm doing, you know. Type. But uh, we all get along. You see a skater in Africa, you see a skater in New Jersey, you know, you got something in common with that guy. If something's wrong, or... this thing sucks so bad. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much This is a team van right here. This is the NHS team van creature. Creature Santa Cruz skateboards, OJ wheels, Richter wheels. It's the big the team van for us. We take it to Florida and back, take it all over Minnesota and back, live in this sucker for like, living here for like a month, you know what I mean? You pretty much got a roommate right here, a couple back here, just start stinking like just absolute hell. Bonsai South to Bolivia and check out La Paz and maybe those hallucinogenic salt flats they got there. Take a boat to the Amazon. That one's good. It's clean. You can do it. No money. A little charter boat from Iquitos, Peru. It's, you know, you just look it up online. Anybody can find it. Just Iquitos, Peru. Take a little charter, little little bark. You know what I mean? A little bark barge, and just seven days to, into Manaus, the capital of the Amazon. You can even do it more if you want and go deeper into the jungle, which I recommend. Well, different times. I went there and I was broke both times. Um, the first time I went down there it was just like. God, I only I think I had like seven hundred dollars, and I stayed there for a month. And, so you were uh, able to survive. Yeah, totally easily. I never could stay on Lake Titicaca for a buck a night, and you're just right there. The Islas Flotantes, that's the shit. I forget the floating islands of uh, of uh, Peru, southern Peru. It's some really amazing culture. Isla Pachamama and Pachapapa, those are like these two islands out there next to the the floating islands that are really worth checking out. It's just uh, pretty, pretty strong. I always take stuff with me. Um, to trade, it's, I mean, you can trade anything, toiletry cases, your shoes, I brought extra shoes, I mean, and just, just talk to people and see what, see what they say, you know, and I, that's what I did, I lived off for like a month down there, I had no money, but you just bring stuff and you trade, you barter. Guaranteed, gotta do Machu Picchu, you gotta walk it, you can't take the train, uh, take the hike on the Inca Trail, you gotta do that. I met these Argentinian guys in my hostel in, in, um, in Cusco. Stayed in Cusco. It's a great place to stay for at least. You gotta stay there for a couple of days before you hike Machu Picchu. Um, and there's the there's the ruins around town of Cusco, which are amazing. One is called Sexuama. They call them sex, sexy woman, but it just cause it sounds like it. So that overlooks all of Cusco. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous area, and. Um, I just kind of freestyle it because you have to pay a tourist pass to get to look at these things, or you can go after 5 p.m. and do it for free. And so these guys told us me told me about it, and I just ended up going with them. We took a, like a, a cheap cab, like a couple miles from the ruins, like this little town, and then we like rented some horses um, and rode horseback through like the woods, and it was pretty intense because I, I haven't ridden a horse in whatever since I was 10, 12 years old. We prepared for an intense, intense hike. And uh, 
for the, one of the best moments in your entire life. It's, it's amazing. You got to do it. If you're and going it's to four Peru, days. it's four days. You can stay extra in Aguas Calientes at the bottom and chill out. They have these natural hot springs down there. They're called um, the Baños, and it's four different ones. And <laughs> you're sitting at the bottom of Machu Picchu in some natural hot springs, looking up at that thing like, wow, yeah, this is an experience. So I would definitely chalk that one up before you check out. Huayana Picchu, it's the other one, and it's the overlooker, the overseer of Machu Picchu, basically. And you can hike that one if you've got balls and if you've got muscles after the four day hike. Um, you can hike up that as well and get like, the most amazing photo ever. So that's, I would, if you got it, do it. I didn't do it because I couldn't barely walk. I was on the verge of tears. I could barely even walk. Check Scandinavia out. If you have, oh yeah, there's, you know, Norway. Norway's an amazing place. It's untouched. And all the fjords out there and countryside is just unbelievable. Um, if you have a chance to make it to a town called Stavanger, Norway, a little outside of there, there's a place called Prekestolen. Prekestolen is uh, like a 1,200 foot sheer drop cliff directly into a fjord. Like this amazing blue waters, and it's just uh, it's pretty intense it's up there with Machu Picchu almost. Not as not as majestic, but still amazing nonetheless. Where can we find all your videos? Um, a lot of them right now that we've been making, you can find on strangenotes.com under Lost in Translation. That's my little blog on that under that site. There are a bunch of videos up there right now, random stuff, photos from all our, a lot of our trips, and um, there's some stuff on YouTube all over actually. Um, Creatureskateboards.com. Camo. Tranquilo, tío, siempre way. But they don't say way out there, it's tío. So uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's really mellow always. And um, just, uh, what was the question? Uh, <laughs>